Yo, what you working on? Dude, this company Keep Forest reached out to me, asked me to take a look at their Devastator Warzone plugin. Oh, sweet. Is it any good? I don't know. What? I mean, they actually never sent the plugin, but they have a free version of the plugin, so I went ahead and checked that out. Dude, take a listen. I know, right? Bro, drop a piano track on that. Give me the mic. You know it's bound to be the best for you. You have the power to see. Every little thing you gotta do is bound to lead you to me. No doubt about it No excuses until you try it yeah. So when I guess you need to take a little time Before you walk away Every day you see a different sign You know it's time for change Battles raging, no doubt about it you waiting for we won't cross that line until i know you're sure and feel secure you say you're hurt and don't know your worth freedom is what you know you deserve so when All right, so let's just start with something I think is really, really cool. Attention to detail, always appreciate. Anytime you mess with all the envelope parameters, the robot looks at you. I just thought that was pretty cool to uh, point out to you. Anyways, let's start off with the very first sound you hear outside of the piano. I mean, it's really the only way I could describe the sound. Right, it's kind of like a flyby but I just add a little reverb to it to set it back just a little bit more. And that's here in the signals and signs. Now this is where the plugin really surprised me off the bat because of just how easy it was to create this. So if we go down to the rhythm here, I literally just made the bass line. Sounds pretty boring by itself, but I clicked on the step sequencer, clicked the pan. I clicked randomize just a few times on here just to get some kind of random rhythm. I did the same thing on the pan and I did it just to where I saw a little bit of fluctuation between left and right. And then it turned to this. Right? How cool is that? Now this little wind house sound, it was in the little playable section. Another thing that impressed me with this plugin was this effects rack. It has just this list of all these effects that you can add to it. So I was able to add some saturation to make it bite a little bit more. Now this lo-fi, you will hear kind of this noise in the background. That sound right there. And it's just ever so subtle when you end up hearing it then I think it just adds a little bit of texture to the song. But I thought it was super cool that they have all those effects in there. If you build a rack and you like it, you can save it. It's pretty cool. All right, one of my favorite parts of the song is when I start introducing the bass. I don't bring it in super heavy right away, but just a few notes to let you know that it will be coming. But then when it comes in, you got... And then when I heard the bass sounds on other people's channels looking at this, that's what really made me want to get this plugin and take a look at it myself because I knew for a fact that I would use that type of sound. And then also when I heard the drums, which you'll hear just here in a few seconds, that's what really drove me to take a look at this plugin because up to that point, it was really, really showcased as a trailer building tool, right? Cinematic. I love actually making cinematic music, but with the music I've been creating lately, didn't know if I would use it, but when I heard that thick bass sound and the drum kit and the drum sounds and how awesome the kicks were, that's what really drove me to want to take a look at this, and I was not disappointed. 
So taking a look at the drum kits, you can bring up all these pretty cool drum kits. I just use the modern pop kit, but. But what I liked about this kit is as I change the sounds, I get to hear them. So there's that kick. If I don't quite like that kick, I can just switch through for something I like. Other than that, you can just play it like any other drum kit. Great sounds, easy to play. You can go into the effects, add a compressor to the kick if you want or to the whole drum set. I think it's super awesome. Now this pluck sound on here, I thought it was pretty cool because it hits so hard in the mix. You can't even really tell that it's a pluck. Honestly, when you heard it, you probably thought it was just a pretty thin kick. By itself, it sounds like a pluck. See how hard it hits? No doubt about it, no excuses. See, in the mix, it almost just sounds like a thin kick. That's what I loved about it. It wasn't a super high-pitched pluck going all over the place. It was just kind of hit and let you know that it's there. And then in verse two, I actually had it follow all the kick drums because I liked that presence. And it's also how I helped the kick be a little bit more present. So here's the kick by itself, and then I'll add in the pluck. See, see what I mean? This little scream sound I thought was just pretty cool. I like adding just some little elements for your ears to just kind of hear. You don't really notice them, but you hear them. I can't explain it, but I like that they had these little types of sounds in there. I was able to just cycle through and listen for just something that fit. And you can change the key. They're all set on the piano but you can change from C to C. Every note in between, you can change it to make sure it fits your production. Really nothing by itself, but. Little time before you walk away. Again, just gives your ears something to listen to. Now you don't really hear this synth lead too much. Again, it's just there to kind of fill up space, but I liked enough to put it in. Now, if you've been watching my channel or watching my productions, you know that I love Native Instruments Rise and Hits because I think that is a great way to transition into something that you want to just hit or just really, really be present. So I love that they had these trailer hits in here because most of these hits have this kind of buildup. Right, so I use this one. Now, not really too much by itself, but listen how it really helps you transition into that first low production of verse one and then into the more heavy produced verse two. So when I guess you need to take a little time. I mean, I love that, I love that. Now on the opposite side of things, there was a whole section of downers. And that is something that I've actually been looking for for a while either for me to make or me to find. I love presets. I was able to just hold one note and have it do this downer to go into that slower piano part. So when you can take your time but what you wait. Had that little boom hit there. Now, if you're wondering the piano that I use on this song, as you know, that's the only sound that I use that wasn't a part of this plugin. It's my go-to template piano right now. It's a Noir, Noir, Noir. I'm gonna stop saying it on this channel because I mess it up every time. But it's a Native Instruments piano. But here's the settings if you like that sound. And it just has some realm on it with those settings there. Outside of that, it was just the vocal production. Now, if you would like to see me break down my vocal productions or how I record the doubles, the harmony, add delay, drop a comment below. Let me know that you wanna see that and I'll throw it in a future video. But I really just wanted to showcase this free plugin for now to show you just really how capable this free plugin is. I was pretty impressed. As you can see, I made an entire song using just that, a piano, and my voice. So as you can see, a perfectly capable plugin and absolutely free. And don't even ask me why. If you wanna go check it out yourself, go download it. There are plenty of channels that you can look through that go through every single sound, but it's free. Why not just go check it out yourself? So again, that entire song, except for the piano, 
made just using that free plugin. And I really only wanna showcase plugins on this channel that I foresee myself using or my future students. So when I heard some of the sounds on other channels with this plugin, that's what urged me to check it out. So if you like what you hear and you wanna go check it out yourself, go stop by their website. I'll put a link down in the description. But until next time, I'm Phil. Keep creating music.